think I was on YouTube on the tree course. So. There we go. So we find that Anne has a energy leak from her deep resource energy. So that's from the field of energy that's hidden from the symptomatic body. It means that she's effectively draining her batteries. We've we've selected a remedy from the test kit. We've selected sage essential oil, which is one of the three oils which tunes the deepest, oldest lines of human programming. So we're going to retune that line in Anne to get to allow her to get back in control of the loss of energy from her deep reserves. I'm going to give you the mask back in your hand and we're going to ask, we're going to dynamise the oil which means that we're going to transfer the information from the oil or the signal from the oil into an acupuncture point. And the point that we're going to use is on the head, on the throat, on the chest, on the stomach, CV 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Conception vessel 13 is in the centre, the right, the left side. So we need to move to the left of conception vessel 13 and we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 centimetres. Mm -hmm to the left of conception vessel 13. So on the antenna, it's a centimetre scale. So you can use it as a ruler to help you to find where you're going to put the mass. So we've got 15 just under at the end of the sternum, 14 just below it and 13 below there, and we go 17 centimetres round to this area here. And then we're going to ask Anne to put the mass in her hand up underneath her clothes on the skin where you feel that my finger was a moment ago right. and the metal side, the cold side on your skin. With the holes, the other yes. side. The holes, holes side. towards your skin. Okay. And I have a, a mirror image of the mass here and I'm yeah. going to put the remedy in there. So is the mass well placed? And make sure that you're touching the insulated part of the mask mask or put your hand just over your clothes right. so that you don't touch the metal. Okay. So we're going to go in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going in the middle hole. So just put the mass on the body in exactly the right spot. And then I'm going to scan across the, the oil and see if the antenna responds. And I start off using the right hand side of the antenna which is the side for taking information out. Mm -hmm. We're going to clear the surface because we don't want to put your moisturiser or your, your shower or gel or whatever you use um, or your laundry uh, signal from your clothes mm -hmm. deeper into your points. So we're scanning off and closing first. So cleaning the surface. And when it stops, it's done. We're then going to move across to the opposite side and these numbers are all in the second page of the protocol. You go through them step by step. So we're going to look first of all at number 1.1. The 1.1 being a very important number and it bridges the information or the exchange of energy between the deep energy which pulls inwards and hides things and the symptomatic energy which pushes outwards and which gives people symptoms. If the bridge is broken, then you can't clear things from the deep. And that's all for the 1.1. We then go to 2.1, which is the lymphatic frequency. So we're helping the body to eliminate its toxins through the lymphatic system. And then we go to the 2.5 frequency, which is the human cell harmony. It's the signal that each and every human cell needs to have to be vibrating happily within its environment. And the first environment that it encounters is you, because the cells next door are its neighbours. So it communicates through that frequency or that signal with its neighbours. We then move 
moved down to 5.7, which is the centripetal field of the human body. It pulls towards the centre, so it takes the energy from the cells towards the, the centre in the chest to stock up your batteries or to build your resource energy so that you have more resources available when they're needed to work on, on an area that needs a bit more assistance. Okay. Now the 5.7 is a very deep frequency so we're going to just check whether the bridge between the surface and the deep is still open and on the protocol the numbers which you need to check the 1.1 after are highlighted in boxes. So every time you go to either 5.7 or 8 or 15.3 or 17.6, you need to recheck the 1.1 to make sure that by touching on the deep energy, you haven't closed the gateway. Okay, so for Anne, she needed a bit of reinforcement again at that level. We then go to the centrifugal field signal and ask whether it needs to be tuned there. And that's the symptomatic field. It's the energy as it radiates out from the centre through the cells, taking the energy to where it's most needed. And then we move to the 8 which is the earth frequency. It's a force that drives and, and uh, helps the body to stock by giving the necessary energy requirements for the field which pulls in. So it drives the 5.7 field to pull in towards the centre to stock the energy in your reserves. And because it's a deep frequency, it deals with the centripetal or the deep field, we recheck the gateway between the deep and the surface. Occasionally when you're doing this process, people feel a bit sleepy, which is why I've put you into the chair with arms. Yeah, that keeps messing out. Okay, so the gateway needed a little bit of tuning, but it was stronger than the last time we did it. So it's starting to be able mm -hmm. to hold. We then go to the 12, which is the cosmic driver the energy which enters through the crown and which drives the field pushing outwards to bring the energy to each and every cell. So it's a radiant force. The earth is a drawing in force and the cosmic is a pushing out force. And then we go to 15.3 which is the sum of the two, the sum of the driving out and the pulling in forces and so it gives you a, the dynamic, the momentum of the movement between those two forces. Because it has surface and deep uh, attributes we move back and we check the gateway and it's virtually holding. And then we go down to the final frequency for strengthening which is 17.6, and we look at how well the body is able to clear its energetic or light toxins that are left over from its cellular processes. The body does eliminate light, and so by tuning this signal, it makes the body stronger in its ability to clear its old light, the light which it's finished with. Okay, and then because that is called the global frequency, it contains aspects of all of the other frequencies, we go back and just find a final check on the gateway, which is now holding. So we're now going to ask, is that all for strengthening? And we move to the other side of the antenna, and that process is the only time that you use the left hole in the antenna. So we go on the right side, and we clean the surface again. So we cleaned screwed in because the field that we're using was the centripetal field which spirals in a clockwise direction so it screws in to the point in the body where it's working and now we've moved back to the centrifugal so we're now screwing out taking information with us we put information in 
and we take the information out. So the surface is clean and then we ask, are there neg any negative memories to raise in the system? How many different levels do we have to work with negative memories? Just on the one. So we go to the protocol and the negative memories are here in boxes. Called deprogramming negative memories. So we, we're looking at uh, using the physics of meeting waves where the top of one wave meets the bottom of another. So destructive interference to flatten out a signal that is using up your energy to no avail. It's not helpful to you and so your body has asked for it to, to be removed. And so is it in the energy, in the hormonal system? We'll go to the hormonal frequency, which is 14.7, and work over the remedy. So while it moves, there is a, an interaction between two wave signals, and when it stops moving, that, that action is finished. Okay. And then we ask if there's any information that we can draw from that signal, so we'll put it on 17.6 and just ask, are there any dates that we can draw that are relevant for you to know? So days, weeks, months, years. 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 years. So a very old memory you've been carrying with you for most of your life. Okay. So we've got 55 years ago and uh, you're now in, in 2013. Who's good at maths? Oh, God. Be nice. 55 years ago. Oh, it'll be 1958. Yeah, yes. So it was it 1957, 1958? Mm. <laughs> and in January, February, March, April, or May. So May of 1958, something happened that affected you in your deep resource energy because we're dealing with a leak from the deep resources and the remedy that you selected was for tuning the deep resources. Okay. And it's been with you for a very long time. Okay. So, is that all for negative memories? Is there another date? That's all. So we're now going to make sure that the bridge between the surface and the deep is still open on the outwards direction so that we open it on the inwards direction when we were strengthening. Now we open it on the out outwards direction to aid elimination from the deep of any of those signals that you want to clear. And there's a lot you want to clear. I've got a few at the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that all? And then we go back to the global frequency, the 17.6, and we clear the surface again so that we don't leave any of those signals that have been uh, destabilizing to your energy system, sitting around within, close within your energy field, waiting to find another weakness to zoom back into. And remembering that 17.6 helps the elimination of light, and so old light that's already been in a part of an old cell, carrying that cell's old memories, and then will be cleaning. Tennis unplugged. Okay. So is that all for dynamization? Do we need to harmonize? Back at the first page. Reinforce, purpose, place, follow up, inhale. So we need to then we've done the energetics using mm -hmm. the energy transfer process. We also need to make a physical connection between the remedy. Mm -hmm. And the brain. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to sniff the oil <clears throat> using the left nostril, the right nostril, both. We're going to sniff it once, twice. So it's when we, we look at uh, bringing the resonance mm -hmm. or the signal of the physical smell mm -hmm. into the brain, the first sniff talks to the oldest part of the brain, the brain stem. Mm -hmm and the old programmed part that runs totally unconsciously. And then the second sniff talks to the, the next layer, the subconscious, where the background running functions of your body take place, where you might have a little bit of control of your, your breathing rate and your heart rate if you make an effort to do that, but pretty much they happen on their own. Um, and the 
hormonal system also at that level, not consciously choosing what your hormones do. So we're going to just make the reconnection between a signal, which corresponds to a signal deep within your hereditary program, and your brain, so that it accepts the information. And we're going to do it on a one-off basis. We're going to do it now. So you're going to go in one breath, like a lift going up. I'm going to check the resonance of the oil before I give you to do it because the oil needs to resonate at 1.1 to have the gateway frequency so that it doesn't just work at a superficial level. Okay, so you can take that down from there now. Okay. Would you need a unblocked one of those to be doing your dynamization? Okay, so we'll take questions just at the end. So if you could breathe out for me, and then I'm going to bring the, the harmony underneath you, your nose, and give you two sniffs in one breath. And hold on as long as you feel the need. I usually add that the, the aim is to get a, the smell into your brain, not empty the bottle into your lungs, so you don't need to soak the whole lot out. <laughs> Sometimes people hold on for so long because they feel it's so, something mm. that's going to be so helpful mm. that I have to make them laugh mm. to make them breathe again. <laughs> okay. So we'll go back to the information from your energy system and ask, is that all for the energy leak? The process is complete. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.